Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to World of Thanks. I really do hope you are enjoying your weekend at the moment, because over here it is just beautiful weather and everything, uh, but I decided to take a little break to record one episode for you. So, today, live gameplay episode, because you haven't seen live gameplay episode for a while, uh, just so many games to play, so many other episodes to make, to record, to edit and all that, uh, but uh, good old live gameplay episode. Where are you now when I need you? You know the song? <laughs> and uh, in today's episode, I decided to play with the uh, USA Heavies, tier 9 and tier 10. T110E5 is going to be my next tank that I am going to be playing with. And uh, hello. Uh, now, M103 is just solid tier 9 heavy. In my opinion, it is, it is really solid tier 9 heavy tank. Like, it has. Uh, really good gun, in my opinion. 9.45 second reloading time with that kind of accuracy, penetration and uh, average damage is not bad. And uh, look on the minimap, you can see... Now this is what you call lemming train, guys. This is perfect example about lemming train. We have no tanks on the other side of that river and uh, they, they actually had few tanks over here. Try to track... <laughs> God damn, how sad shot was that? Oh, that was so lucky shot. No, do not scare him off, please. Do not scare him off. 400, nice. You can see over 400 rolls. M103 is really... Yeah. I believe the best way to describe it is uh, really solid tier 9 heavy. I think this is the best way to describe it. Uh... Nope, this guy is behind the house, and now he's going to be even further behind the house. Now, I am in the middle, kind of. Kind of in the middle position, so I can go where my team needs me to be. Oh, 215B, enemy most dangerous target, because uh, Waffentrager is dead. And then I'm in 103. Oh, let's see if we can hit the lower plate. From that kind of range, uh, the only place pretty much you can penetrate reliably is a lower plate. So, M103's 103 frontal armor is, I would say, more than just decent. More than just decent. Especially if you can hide your lower plate somehow. Okay. They actually managed to get two of our tanks, and here is enemy mouse. Now the sad news is I am not going to be able to penetrate that mouse with my standard shots uh, under angle like that. I do not uh, want to. I do not want to get into DPM fight with FE 215B because I am going to lose that DPM fight. Object is spotted for uh, 369. Nope. This guy's getting away. So I have few heat shells loaded in just for that mouse that I can see through here. Can I? Oh, I can. Ah. Nice moving. Nice timing, mate. Object 704 is shooting. 8G rounds, guys. 8G rounds. Now that is interesting. Lorraine is dead. Mouse tank is over here. Okay. On the angle like that, let's switch back to AP shots. No. Oh, my bad. No reason to do anything else. Then cream. Okay. I'm going back. I do not want to receive another shot from that mouse. Loader. <laughs> that object, man. 80 rounds. Seems like this guy doesn't have top gun. Now, the camo is OP as well. I have... Holy damn. And I didn't see this guy over here. So let me see what gun do you have. This isn't top gun, right? Or is it? I don't know. Questionable. Command oh, commander hit. 
It was in the center of the aiming circle, but way, way too low for my taste. Now I can get the red side shot. Thank you, objects. Uh, object 140. For the circling action. Come on. Nice! Through the pillar, I believe. Yeah, it was. It was through that. Now, only one RT left. We actually had two artilleries in the game. So, not too shabby. This position over here provided me RT cover as well, and uh, our 4k damage done in tier 10 action. <laughs> and now the lemming train was real in uh, this battle. At the start of the battle, actually. You don't see that too often that no, not a single tank is going to cross the river on your team. In tier 10 game, uh, let me see how heavy tier 10 game it was. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four tier 10s and I am dropped by damage. And uh, with close to 700 damage, not bad. And third by experience. So good spotting. I didn't spot for my own. Uh, I didn't spot my own targets, so that's why I didn't get that much experience for that. Uh, for that kind of damage. But anyways, M103 is solid. Tier nine heavy. Next up, T110 E5. Well, not bad for a three-minute game, but uh, I want something something better. So, let's do that again. Well played team, I guess. Now let's see if we are going to be able to get a better game than the previous game. Because it is not uh, fun to win by that huge margin. Like, what was that? 15 to 2 victory in 3 and a half minutes. Um, this is not uh, fun. Sometimes it can be funny, but it is not fun action. Like, uh, TG team. Team is too good. Uh, but over here on the Overlord map, let's see. Matchmaking is simply superb, uh, literally a lot of tier 10 action, a uh, few tier 9 tanks and a few tier 8 tanks as well. Light tanks, poor T44 on the enemy side, we have T44 and Pershing, so we have one extra tier 8 actually. So they are winning that fight. Ooh, nice, 433 damage done. I, des I decided to come over here because they have more medium tanks than uh, we have. Than we do. A more higher, higher tier medium tanks than we have. Uh, so they needed some help over here. Because usually medium tank fight is going on on that side of the map. So let's push up. I hope I'm not going to get wrecked by artillery too much. Like Too huge. Ah, what a shot! Where did you hit me? That was artillery. I'm actually happy that artillery is focusing me. I have hit points. I can use them. Object. Fired. Light tank. Oh! <laughs> what What the hell was that, guys? <laughs> Don't mind if I date that kill. Don't mind if I do. Can't see that object. Um, I have to wait for my medium tanks. How did I lost half of my HP? Okay, I actually lost on 1k hit points. Blind shot. Did hit the house again. There is some nasty, nasty push action going on. So I can't see clearly what is going on. <laughs> but that kill, man. Uh, it is. It is funny when it happens. When stuff like this happens. Really bad position. On that uh, destroyer back there. Like, seriously bad position. Where did that T or object go? Oh, over there! Nice! That was a really crucial shot. But good hit and good pen. Winning at the moment 7 to 6, but things doesn't look that good actually. So, D44 is in the middle. Actually, let me go into the middle as well. And I'm spotted! And who is over here? Okay, artillery is repositioning, that means... God damn. Uh, that means I have time to get away. 
two objects, VK45B. I'm in a really bad position for that guy. But VK, don't mind if I do shoot you a few times. Four seconds. Now, when M103 gun was pretty beast for tier 9, over here we get exactly the same gun with better rate of fire. And I believe uh, slight tweaks on aiming time as well and uh, and accuracy maybe, if I remember correctly. I have to check it out later. But uh, when, uh, when M103 was uh, decent, tier 9 heavy, then E5, in my opinion, is more than just decent. It is actually really good. Tier 10 heavy. Tier by tier comparison. If we are going to do that. Now, weapon dragger is behind him. I am going to be faster than mouse, so maybe I'm going to be able to get one more shot into one of them. I'm going for the tier 10 kill lower blade. They are knocked out. Once again, seems like our team was really good. Mouse on the move doesn't give a damn. What? Alright, that was artillery. Now, object 263. Where are you? Still hiding back there, I guess. This guy can be problematic to penetrate. Uh, but if we are going to be able to get the side armor that is made out of paper, then it is not going to be a problem. And uh, 15 to 7 uh, victory. So not bad, guys. And we got one pretty nice skill as well. <laughs> uh, seems like my decision to go to the right side of the map was... Uh, pretty good, otherwise our medium ranks would have lost that fight pretty much 100%. Uh, top by damage, once again, and uh, third by experience. So Leopard 1. You did some spotting, I guess. How much spotting I did? Yeah, none. So there's that, and AMX 1390, second by experience, because this guy is tier 8 in tier 10 game, with 2k damage done. Not bad. Really good result, actually really good result so 0 0.35 accuracy aiming time 2.0 rate of fire 6 0 0.37 yeah accuracy is buffed and aiming time is buffed but uh, plus rate of fire is buffed but pretty much exactly the same gun as you can see mounted on m103 and d110 e5 so there we go and next battle on Arctic region. My starting position was uh, pretty good to go to the left side of the map and uh, I am going to be aggressive over here. So let's see if I am going to succeed or not. Because my idea is to go behind that rock where that D54 is at the moment. Alright, so boom. Now, this is what I got spotting, guys. <laughs> this is what I got spotting. Uh, how many tanks? Like, battle duty on the way, guys. Battle duty hype. Thank you. Second easy shot as well. This guy seems like he doesn't have the best start of the game. What? What? And he's 75 shooting me as well. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. How can... I think I should end today's episode over here. Uh, because... Um, yes. If I look on the minimap, I can see our E100 over here. Okay, <laughs> anyways guys, this is what happens if you play badly, like I do. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure, guys, 
you enjoy your weekend at least over here it is beautiful so make sure you enjoy your weekend and i get you next time with different tanks by the way help me to make my next live gameplay episode let me know which tanks you would like to see in my next episode take care and bye